Today we're going to teach you how to do these 20s inspired finger wave pin curl up do. To begin this hairstyle we're going to start by sectioning off um, our hair. So we're going to go from the crown to just behind the ear and section off the um, fringe portion of our hair which will be the finger wave. And then we're going to also section off a piece of hair just on the crown which we're going to use um, for the pin curl details on top of the little twist that we do at the back. So we're going to start by applying um, setting spray and a thermal protection spray and then curling through to the end of the tips of the hair right the way through to the root and then we're going to set that in place using a long pin curl clip. To add a little height to the back of the hair we're going to do a gentle back comb we're using a rat tail comb and just back combing through the crown and either side of the head. Um, using the rat tail comb pushing down that shaft of the hair to create a nice uh, sturdy back comb. And then what we're going to do is smooth through the top layer of hair so it's nice and smooth and we can't see any of that back combing peeking through. To style the base of this hairdo, we're literally twisting the hair uh, from just behind the ear and using the rat tail comb to smooth that under portion down so it's nice and smooth all the way around. And then just literally twisting the hair away from the face and up and over and towards the um, base. To secure in place, you can see we go um, in with the clip first grabbing the actual top portion of that twist and then directing it back against itself. Uh, this way is just a really secure way of clipping in uh, a length of the twist without really seeing the hair clips. So you can see that again, so we're going into the head and then twisting the clip completely back against itself. So we're going to carry on that twist through the nape of the neck through to the other side of the head and you can see we're going to pop a grip uh, just against the actual head and this acts as a really good anchor point for us to finish off the twist and it just means that um, it's just a really secure way of finishing off this style. So just keep in mind to keep everything smooth um, on the base of the hair and through this twist as you work through so that it's nice and neat and tidy and there's no kind of back combing or funny bits coming through. Uh, and then pop another clip in place to secure the twist. So with the remaining length of the hair, we're going to pop this into uh, basically like a barrel roll, kind of victory roll um, style. So spray it with a nice working hairspray um, so that it's nice and um, smooth down. And then you can see we literally wrap that length of hair around the fingers, tucking the ends in as we work through, and then pinning securely in place with a hair grip going from either end of the uh, barrel roll so it's nicely secure. So now the back of the hair is styled, we're going to work on the fringe section which will be the finger wave portion. So as always we're using a setting spray and a thermal protectant spray before we go in with curling irons. Uh, we're using a really small curling iron for this style because we want a pretty tight wave for us to work with to get that uh, finger wave in. So as you can see we're wrapping the hair around that curling iron so it's nicely uh, tightly curled through the entire tips of the hair and then just making sure you complete all of the layers as you roll down with the curling iron. So now we're going to work through this whole portion of the uh, front section of the fringe. So you can see we're doing three sections from eyebrow peak to eyebrow peak and then we're going to finish off this uh, front portion by doing a few more curls on the side of the head as well. So whilst the front section is cooling down, we're going to work on the back portion. Uh, so unpin the little crown layer that we took already and then we're going to section this off. You can kind of choose what you want to do with this and get creative. You can see what we're doing with this section is taking pieces at a time and allowing that curl that we popped in there with the curling iron to really kind of negotiate what the style actually does. Uh, you can experiment with this, you can make it as detailed or as simple as you like. It's more kind of case of sculpting the hair 
and because we've curled that hair we have a lot more kind of room to play and obviously um, style up this however we want to do it um, so as you can see once we're kind of happy with the decorative style we're going to use the uh, pin curl clips just to keep those in place and then spray with hairspray a nice um, stronghold hairspray to really set those in place whilst we finish off the rest of the hair. So now we're going to unpin the two uh, side curls that we did and we're going to allow these pin curls to kind of come in and style and kind of bring the back section in line with the front section that we're going to finger wave. So again, you can see we're sculpting with our fingers, seeing what the curls want to do. It's always nice to kind of work with the hair rather than try to fight against it. And you can always find new fun things for these little pin curls to do. So it's just a really creative and fun kind of way of prepping the hair and then seeing what you can build out of it and just getting creative and sculptured with it. Um, so now we're going to unpin the rest of this front section of the hair ready for our finger waving. So to work on our wave, we're going to start from the parting of the hair section and work our way through that length of hair. We're going to use our rat tail comb, long pin curl clips and our fingers to really keep everything in place as we move down that layer. So you can see we've put the brush directly in through the hair and then we're going to slide that back away from the face to make our first um, S wave. So we're going to clip that in place with a pin curl clip to hold and set that in place as we work our way through the rest of the hair. So as you can see, we're holding on to that pin curl clip that we've already popped in, and then we're brushing the hair forwards toward the, towards the face, and then putting and setting that in place again with the pin curl clip. And you can see the way we slide that hair back up, it creates that really nice classic 20s rig. So again, you can see we're holding those pin curl clips in place just to keep things really secure whilst we move through that remaining length of the hair. We're combing all of that hair nice and smoothly down and then using the brush to pull that back away from the face to create our next S wave. Uh, and then obviously again, clipping in place with pin curl clips and kind of sculpting the hair as we move down the rest of the length of the hair. So keep brushing the length of the hair through just to make sure we don't get any tangles or anything whilst we're sculpting the hair. Um, and then once again we're going to create our next kind of S wave and bring that hair backwards away from the face and then forwards into the face again like so. Using our rat tail comb really helps guide that hair and keeps everything in a really uh, defined S wave shape. Um, you can also notice we're going to work with our model's layers in the hair. So you can see the little short bits that are coming through um, just between those pin curl clips that we've already popped in. We're going to leave those for now, sculpt the remaining length of the hair and then work through those. So we've just bought that longer length of the hair and done a little pin curl detail so it brings this whole style together so it's a gorgeously 360 hairstyle so everything connects. Uh, and now we're going to work on those layered portions that I've already talked about and we're going to actually work with them rather than trying to hide them. So we're going to create some really gorgeous pin curl details with those shorter layers that we have through the fringe and just kind of sculpt and again have fun with this kind of style. You can get as elaborate or as kind of classic simple as you like. Um, but I would definitely recommend working with your hair layers rather than trying to fight them and bring them into this, you know, long elaborate roll. Uh, I really like these pin curl details and I think they just make the hair look extra uh, unique and original. So once we're happy with the style, we can start to remove the pin curl clips that we've used to set the hair. And then we can start doing our kind of final touches and then spray everything in place, take care of any flyaways or little loose ends that have kind of come through um, and just really secure everything in place. So at this point you can also kind of play around with the shape as well um, and I would recommend working through and just making sure everything's set in place. We're going to set this finally with a really strong hold hairspray 
um, just to keep everything nice and secure. You can obviously also clip things in place as well. Um, you know, find your anchor points. What I usually like to do is pop a clip through the base of the hair and kind of weave that through. Or you can do like we're doing here and popping a hair pin directly through that length of hair just to pin everything to the head. Um, but if you've used a really good Stronghold hairspray, that kind of takes care of a lot of the uh, flyaways and security of that hairstyle. So here we have our final look, a really gorgeous 20s inspired finger wave pin curl detail hairdo. As I've spoken about, you can have fun with this hairstyle, you can play with the pin curls and just make it your own hairstyle and just work with those curls. <laughs>